The number one is Hario Next. The Hario Next has a rubber coat handle that gives you a better grip and won't get hot while it's brewing. It comes with two different filters, one cloth and one metal, so you can choose the texture and intensity for your cup of joe. The price approximately $84. This product has average 4.2 stars from more than 187 customer reviews. A customer said. I'm already sold on the siphon brew method, but I broke the upper chamber of my Chinese knock off of the old style Hario, and the price of the next has gone down a lot in the last couple years, so I bought one. Much, much better. The tapered upper chamber is easier to clean using the sink sprayer or brush. Basically, the diameter at the top is about an inch wider, so access is better. The handle is rubber which combined with the new shape feels more comfortable. The glass seems a bit thicker than the one I broke. The second one is Digwo Belgian Luxury. Add a touch of vintage charm to your kitchen with the Digwo Belgian Luxury, which features a beautiful wooden base and a stainless steel water reservoir. It comes with an eco-friendly cloth filter that can be washed and reused for months. The price is around $123. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 76 customer reviews. A customer said. This is awesome. It's not only a great conversation starter, but it makes a smooth cup of coffee. I occasionally use an alcohol-burning military-style camp stove, so I'm acquainted with cooking with alcohol burners. Never used one with a wick and that would turn off when it was finished brewing. This one does exactly that. The first time I tried it, I had doubts that I'd set it up correctly, but it worked flawlessly. It does take a while to brew coffee if you start with cold water and considerably less time if you preheat the water. Just so. The number 3. Yama Glass Stovetop. If you don't want to deal with the alcohol or butane fuels that tabletop models require, take a look at the Yama Glass Stovetop, which works on both gas and electric ranges. Its heat-resistant handle will never burn you, and the lid can also be used as a stand for serving. The price is around $53. Check out the product link. This product has average 4.4 stars from more than 663 customer reviews. A customer said. Every day, I start preheating the water aiming for about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, filled to just over the printing on the water chamber. Then, grind 42 grams of coffee beans, put that in the top chamber. Put the siphon together, light the flame. When the coffee rises to the top, stir for 20 seconds, then pull and extinguish the flame, simply put the cap on it. The siphon does all the work now, pulling the coffee down. When the bubbles that form on the coffee mound have cleared, my coffee is ready to pour. Enjoy. The next product is Grosh Heisenberg. Whether it's named for the Nobel-winning scientist or the Breaking Bad character, the Grosh Heisenberg will be a welcome addition to any home. It delivers a smooth, clean-tasting brew, and its sophisticated design is sure to make your caffeine fix feel more luxurious. The price approximately $99. This product has average 3.6 stars from more than 4 customer reviews. A customer said. Love brewing with it. Makes the best coffee. Who said the Chemex is the best? This method is way better than Chemex. You just have to try and adjust until you get the best. Another happy customer said. I love this. Makes the best coffee I have ever had. Really cool to watch as well. The next product in our list is Clarstein Touch. Go high-tech with the Clarstein Touch, which has an LCD and lets you choose between automatic and manual modes depending on the strength you prefer. It makes sure the water is always at the correct temperature, so you'll never end up with a bitter cup of java. This product is available on Amazon for $59. Check out. There are 50 reviews which average rating is 3.9 stars for this product. A customer said. This Clarstein vacuum coffee maker is very convenient and produces a great cup of coffee. I have only used the Clarstein for a week or so and although I am very pleased with its performance so far, I am somewhat concerned that the bond between the metallic bottom heating section and the glass may be a future point of failure. 
It is not normally an easy thing to maintain such a bond over the long term but for now, considering the great performance of the unit and its remarkably low price I have to give the unit 5 stars. I'll update. Another happy customer said. First of all I was surprised at how small this unit is. It will make no more than 2 8 ounces cups of coffee at a time. The coffee comes out very hot and you have to let it cool for a while before you can drink it. I was expecting exceptional tasting coffee but it's no better than my drip pot or pour over coffee maker. It is fun to watch it brew but that's about it. After 2 months of use I've updated my rating from 3 to 4 stars. This little coffee pot has worked well for us and after. The number 6. Bodum Pebo. The Bodum Pebo is available both as a standalone unit and as a set that comes with a burner and stand. However, note that you will need a heat diffuser to use it on the stovetop, as the glass may shatter if placed directly on a gas or electric range. The price approximately $59. There are 654 reviews which average rating is 4.2 stars for this product, a customer said. Initially struggled with this but found out the Bodum sponsored video doesn't match the instructions provided. I was using the manual that came with the Pebo and it's not very useful. If you follow the Mustachio gentleman's instructions to the letter, you're going to end with extremely smooth coffee with minimal residue. By the way, don't use coarse grind. You'll end up with weak coffee or a clogged filter. Stick to medium grind or pre-ground coffee that you can get at the store. Another happy customer said. While I am no coffee connoisseur, I have spent considerable time trying to find out how to make that perfect cup. For me, this is it. I did also buy a Hario cloth siphon filter to replace the plastic one included, both because I don't like to use plastic anything for cooking, etc., and also the cloth filter allows for absolutely no mud at the bottom of the cup. Some notes. Some people complain about this making weaker coffee if they follow the directions, however, most people don't realize that when using European products, much of the time when it comes to. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.